Welcome to a video that will show how to find the distance between a line and a point when the line is expressed using parametric equations. The distance between a point Q and a line in space is given by the magnitude of vector PQ crossed with vector V divided by the magnitude of vector V. Where vector V is the direction vector for the line and P is a point on the line. So to set this up, we're going to have to determine two things. We'll have to determine the directional vector as well as a point on the line so we can determine the component form of vector PQ. Let's take a look at an illustration of where this formula comes from. If we let this be the line that we're considering, point P is a point on the line and point Q is a point not on the line. So this would be vector PQ. So this distance here would be the magnitude of vector PQ. And we're trying to find the distance from the line to the point. That would be this distance here. If we take a look at this right triangle, we could state that sine theta would be opposite over hypotenuse, or that sine theta would be equal to D divided by the magnitude of vector PQ. If we solve this equation for D, we would have D equals the magnitude of vector PQ times sine theta. So going back to the theorem that we stated earlier that states the magnitude of U crossed with V is equal to the magnitude of U times the magnitude of V times sine theta, we're going to let vector U be vector PQ and we'll let vector V be our directional vector of the line, this vector here. So performing those substitutions, we'd have the magnitude of vector PQ crossed with vector V must equal the magnitude of vector PQ times the magnitude of vector V times sine theta. Now if we divide both sides of the equation by the magnitude of vector V, We have the magnitude of vector PQ cross with vector V divided by the magnitude of vector V must equal the magnitude of vector PQ sine theta, but this is equal to D. So we have the distance is given by the magnitude of this cross product divided by the magnitude of vector V, which if we go back to the previous screen, is how we will find the distance between a point and a line. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example. So again, in order to do this, we have to find the component form of vector PQ, where P is a point on the line, and this would be our point Q. So let's go ahead and find point P. Any point on this line, well to find a point on this line, we can let T equal any value. Let's go ahead and let T equal zero. So if T is zero, we'll have the point two, negative four, zero. So to determine the component form of vector PQ, we'll take the coordinates of point Q and subtract the coordinates of point P. So we'll have one minus two, that'll be negative one. Negative six minus negative four, that'll be negative two. And then we'll have two minus zero, that'll be two. So here's the component form of vector PQ. And now we need to determine vector V, which is the directional vector of this line. Remember the directional vector of this line can be formed by, by taking the coefficients of T. So the directional vector will have an X component of positive three, a Y component of positive one, and a Z component of negative two. And now we have all the information we need to complete this formula. We need to find the magnitude of the cross product and then the magnitude of vector V. Let's go ahead and find the cross product. PQ cross with V will be equal to the three by three determinant where the first row is IJK. The second row will be negative one, negative two, two. 
and the third row will be 3, 1, negative 2. We'll go ahead and use the cofactor expansion method, so we'll have the 2 by 2 determinant formed by eliminating row 1 and column 1, so we'll have negative 2, 2, 1, negative 2 times vector i minus the 2 by 2 determinant formed by eliminating row 1 and column 2. So I have negative 1, 2, 3, negative 2 times vector j plus the 2 by 2 determinant formed by eliminating row 1 and column 3. So we'll have negative 1, negative 2, 3, 1. So we're going to have 4 minus 2, that'll be 2i, minus 2 minus 6, that'll be negative 4. So minus negative 4 will be plus 4j, plus negative 1 minus negative 6, that'll be positive 5. So 5 times vector k. So the component form will be 2, 4, 5. Now we need to find the magnitude of this cross product. So the magnitude of the cross product is going to be equal to the square root of 2 squared plus 4 squared plus 5 squared. That's going to be equal to the square root of 4 plus 16 plus 25. That will be the square root of 45. So that will be the numerator for our distance. Now we need to find the magnitude of vector v. Let's go ahead and take this information over to the next screen and complete the problem. Okay, so here's our formula. We already found the magnitude of the cross product as a square root of 45, and then our directional vector, vector v, has components 3, 1, negative 2. So now the last step is to find the magnitude of the directional vector. So the magnitude of vector v is going to be equal to the square root of 3 squared plus 1 squared plus negative 2 squared. So we're going to have the square root of 9 plus 1, that's 10, plus 4, the square root of 14. Okay, so the distance between that point and the line is going to be equal to the square root of 45 divided by the square root of 14. Now we could simplify this, but we'll probably just go ahead and convert this to a decimal. It's approximately 1.79 units. And this is how we can determine the distance between a point and a line when the line is given as a set of parametric equations. I hope you found this example helpful. Thank you for watching.